with Matt Westberg from Berg Blades. You guys know, I think about a year ago, I had the Iron Pup on. It was the first time I got to see a Berg Blades knife, and it's awesome. And he's got some great stuff on the table. So tell us about how you got into the, the knife making stuff, and tell us about what you've got going on and, and like your kind of process, and then we can look at some of the knives. Absolutely. Um, so I'd say, uh, like a lot of us growing up, I, I had knives. Um, my story is about 10 years old, I got my first knife right before a backpacking trip from my dad. And since then, I've been in love with knives. Uh, I collected knives as a kid. Um, and as an adult, it kind of faded out a little bit um, until I got hired in the fire department. And I was around a lot of guys that haunted it, uh, a lot of guys that were into knives. And uh, that's when my love for custom knives came in. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, the starting of making knives came with some guys in the fire department talking about you know, these custom knives and how cool they were. And, and joking around, I told him, you know, I bet I can make one of these. And it started as a joke and it turned into me obsessing about the process of making knives, um, how it was done. I would uh, just look at pictures all day. I would evaluate them, try to figure out what the handle material was, uh, try to figure out how a grind was made. Uh, you know, I made my first forge out of a, a brake drum with some galvanized pipe and a blow dryer. And I was quenching knives in, in oil. Uh, like cooking oil and uh, it just grew. I mean, I, I got obsessed and, uh, you know, I just started making knives, designing knives and, you know, it's pretty much history from there. So I've been doing this for about 11 years now and uh, I still have a, a huge passion for it and love for it. So. And you've got some of the nicest production knives at the show on the table. So let's take a quick look at those. And I got to say, this is the one. The Sweeney, this is the one that got my attention. I have to, this is one of the best knives at the show. So tell us what you got here with all of these. So we have the mini barber, uh, barber being the full size right here, just to show you, this is the newest one to push button. This will be coming out in a month here. This was a, one of the original designs I made, handmade, and I turned it into a uh, production as well as the mini barber. Just slim mine, dropped it down. The uh, Iron Mutt is basically the two pop versions that I've made in the past, uh, put into one, that's why it's named the Mutt. Sweeney, newest design, it comes from the barber, really took the, the body drop point, added a little slim, uh, at least- oh, Okay, I get it, like Sweeney Todd. There you gotcha. go, so that's the play, but I took parts of all my other knives, turned it into this one, and then added the top flipper. Which and is, you guys know I'm not a fan of top flippers, but that is a very, very good top flipper. It is a, honestly a very smooth and just practical knife, very streamlined clip. It's just a classic design, uh, for me at least. A yeah, lot I, of my I, designs are kind of funky. So. And you guys know me, I like a nice thin behind the edge. That is a very, very slicey blade. You're gonna have a lot of sharpening before it starts to thicken up and you have to readdress angles. Um, and then you have these ones that you said is the barber, right? No, or no it's a slim. This is a slim. So oh, you know okay. what? This is um, the one of the first folder designs that I, I made. Actually, the third. Gollum was the first. Um, Iron Wolf was the first flipper. And then we went to the slim. So this was a handmade model that um, I loved making. I'd have at shows. And over time, you know, being a full-time fireman um, and not having a, a lot of time in my shop, when I started transitioning to other models, uh, I put this into production, and it's probably the most popular, probably what I'm known for is the style, which is, you know, the little mini cleaver. And funny enough, people go, it, why'd you name it the Slim? It's a chunky knife. And really the name came from, I just slimmed down one of my bigger models. <laughs> so it is not necessarily a Slim, you know, it's got a big belly on it. Um, you know, somewhat thick, but it is a cool knife. I thought maybe it was like the uh, the ironic joke of calling a fat guy slim or a there, tall, there you go. You a, know, a short guy tall, you know, you know. Yeah, so I have, I've heard different reviews online, like, you know, I don't know why he calls it a slim, it's it's not necessarily a slim, slim blade or whatever, but it came from a, a slimmed down version of a different knife. This is, I think this is my favorite of the carbon, of the colored carbon fiber, is that Arctic blue? It is the Arctic, yeah. Arctic yeah, yeah I, I have, um, I have that, same one on a knife from Eric Oaks that he gave me to show for on the channel. Nice. And it was it was originally going to be like, oh, it's probably going to be a giveaway. No, nope. it's one of my personal favorites. So push button barber, we kind of hit on, you know, uh, barber originally was a lock lock bar frame, and I went with the first. This is the first push button I've done. 
And the reason why I chose this one for the push button is because being a long slender blade, I noticed in the original model, a lot of people would put their hand on the lock bar while opening, yeah. creating a huge detent problem. And not for the guys that are collectors or guys that are using knives all the time, but maybe for a novice, somebody coming into this world uh, would have issues flipping it. And I just thought, you know what, what a great idea to now add the top flipper. I know you're not a fan. Necessarily, it it works on that. It, it, does. it does. And uh, now you eliminate that, that pushing of that bar. And it's just a, a very fidgety knife. Uh, but if you like that design, you can choke up on it and you have, you know, and then you have you have the actual Sweeney Todd style blade. Exactly, straight razor. You know that was my play uh, early on in making knives. I wanted to make knives that you didn't see all the time. Cleavers was like what I started with. You didn't see a lot of folding cleavers. No, there was only a couple guys. Yeah, a ADV, uh, really the Villers did. was making them, and they were always yeah big and bulky. Yeah, and that was like that 2013, 2014 time frame. Everything was big and overbuilt. I felt. Um, so when I designed the barber, I just thought, what other knife shape have you not seen in a folding knife um, that's unique and cool? And a straight razor came to mind, and, and that's that was the steps, and that was the process for it. So. But you also have a mini version of the Sweeney, right? Oh so, yeah, you know what, the mini Sweeney. So the Sweeney uh, launched about a month ago, and it's starting to definitely build some momentum and some, uh, some steam. Uh, so we're putting out a mini Sweeney, which for the guys that like that smaller, just you know, throw it in your pocket and have it disappear, you know, size knife. This is coming out in a couple months. This is nice. So you guys are getting to see this before it releases. That's right. Anybody here and now anybody on the show, you know, this uh, on your podcast or your reviews will see that as well as this push button because push button releases uh, at the end of this month, beginning of next month. So kind of early look at the two. Yeah. These, these are great. I, like I said, I had gotten that, I had gotten that iron pup in that time and I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's a really, that's a really nice knife. It's a really well designed knife for it, it cut really well for, for having a relatively thick blade side. I was like, I, that's, yeah. that's very, very well done. So yeah. I'm glad I finally got to meet you and got to film with you. This is, this is actually a lot of fun. So well, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate Guys, it. make sure you find a uh, website birdblades.com birdblades.com yeah. yeah go check them out um if i find any of these knives available at any of the retailers i have affiliate links with i will drop them down below and uh let's go ahead and get out of here and go get some other stuff